Hello and welcome to program 69, which is the Mockplex Itimoku uh, collection. And this consists of uh, Itimoku indicator, a paint bar study and a show me study. And what I'm going to do over perhaps three short videos is just go through each of the programs in turn. Now, Itimoku, um, pardon my Japanese, literally means glance. And this was developed as a way of being able to see what the market is doing in a glance. And uh, the first one we're going to be looking at is the indicator. And you can see I've got this applied to the screen at the moment. I've also got a show me study applied or the show me study. I'm just going to turn that off for the moment just so that we can see and focus on the indicator. And what we're seeing is actually five lines. You can see the, the green line at the top of the cloud, the violet line at the bottom of the cloud. And then we've got two other lines. We've got a conversion line and baseline. They are the orange and red that we can see. And uh, we've also got the lagging span, which is this uh, cyan line that you can see here. Now, the, the, the particular thing about these lines is that the, the leading spans are plotted so many bars ahead of themselves. In fact, on this particular indicator, I've got them applied 26 bars ahead. And the lagging, as you might imagine, is plotted in the past. So when you set up this program, the first thing you need to do is go into the uh, format window. And you can get there by right clicking and then click format window. And make sure that the space to the, to the right is at least equal to the value that you have as an input for those lagging lines. And uh, let me just show you, well, let me just explain the um, how the five lines are calculated to start with. So I'm just gonna go to the website and you'll see here the conversion line is the average midpoint of nine period high and a nine period low. Now that nine period, that can be changed as part of the inputs for this program. Uh, as goes for all these other lines as well. The baseline is the midpoint of the 26 period high, 26 period, period low. Leading span A, that is the midpoint of the conversion line and the base line plotted a number of periods in the future. Normally, customarily 26 periods, 26 bars. Leading span B is the midpoint of 52 period high and low plotted 26 periods in the future. And then the lagging span is the close plotted 26. In fact, I said days here, it should be periods in the past because that will depend on what sort of chart you have this applied to. So uh, here is the indicator. And the way it can potentially help you is to give you an idea of the trend direction. So for example, if price action is below the cloud, then we can perhaps deduce that we've got a uh, bearish trend and that is reinforced when the cloud color is in this case a red and uh, that is when the violet line is below the green and if we just go to the inputs we'll see that the violet line is the leading span A and the green line is the leading span B. The other thing that it can tell us is the amount of momentum. So, for example, when the lines widen, it perhaps indicates a stronger trend when they get to a point where they're a little bit close together. For example, down here, maybe the market is not quite clear where it's going. That gives us some idea of the momentum. It can also give us some potential signals. For example, uh, when the price crosses the, or rather when the baseline crosses the conversion line, that is a potential signal. And when price crosses the uh, conversion line or indeed baseline, that is also a potential signal. And there are a number of other things that you can deduce from, or potentially deduce from this indicator. What I've done is I've written this as simply as possible with the idea that you could possibly take this and reuse it in your own programs. And uh, I've not added a huge amount. I've added some comments so that you can understand what I've written. But essentially, it's a, a, a simple program. The only complexity, I think, is sometimes a little difficult to get your head around is just the fact that two of the lines are plotted so many periods in the future and one of the lines is plotted so many periods in the past. So let's just go and look at the inputs again and 
you'll see here that the numbers that I was referring to, in other words, the conversion line period, baseline period, leading span, B period, leading span offset, and the lag span offset, all of those you can modify. And uh, the other things you can modify is you can change the colors of all of them, including the cloud color. Now, th these are, you'll notice they're in quotes, they have to be strings. And if you go to the website, you'll see a full list of all the colors that you can use. The other thing that you can do is change the cloud transparency so that you can change. And for example, if we were to make this a smaller number, it means that the cloud is less transparent. And then you'll see that we get the, the clouds drawn a little more opaque. The only problem then, of course, is that you can't really see the price action. So what we probably want to do is just make sure that number is, as I had it, probably about 70. And one thing I didn't mention was within the cloud, it's also possible that the cloud acts as a resistance or support. So for example, uh, here you could see that the price action is getting towards the cloud and there's obviously some resistance there. It comes down again and back into the cloud, hitting resistance, coming down, hitting resistance, coming down, hitting resistance, coming down. And I'm sure if we just go back, we should see some examples of support, a little bit of support there, just going back into the cloud and then breaking through the cloud. A little bit of support here, hitting the bottom of the cloud and then uh, shooting up there. So that's another another way that you can use this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to include all of these three programs, the indicator, the show me and the paint bar study uh, within one download. If you uh, if you'd like to download these and uh, what I'm going to do in the next two videos is just talk briefly about the paint bar study and about the show me study.